Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And this video, I've got three replays for you in August tank of the month, the TL-1 LPC, which is an American medium tank. Uh, so as always, we do a review on the tank of the month and uh, yeah, this is gonna be no exception. So um, what I'll do is I'll jump into the stats and we'll go over that with obviously the equipment layout and the perks that I run and obviously the armor on this vehicle as well. So looking at the stats then um, that I've got set up um, with my equipment and perks. So we've got top forward speed of 50 kilometers per hour with reverse speed of 20. Um, you've got 1400 hit points. You've got um, still concealment of 358 meters. Um, when you're moving, it's 377 and a view range of 523 meters. So that's, that's what we've got currently with our setup. The gun is a 90mm gun and you've got uh, 9 degrees of gun depression. You've got 14.22 second reload time, 0 0.32 accuracy with 2.35 aim time. Uh, you have two shots in your clip and you can have AP, heat rounds and HE. You've got 208 mils of pen on your standard with 280 on your premium and your armor damage is roughly about 280 hit points per shot. Shell velocity you're looking at 914 on your AP rounds with uh, 1219 on your heat rounds. And looking at the premium bonus that you can get, um, your um, yeah, silver rate is about 150%, your tank XP earn rate of 110%. So yeah, it's... Um, there's, uh, there's, there's a couple of stats where it stand out. I mean, you um, should have said into clip reload time is 1.13 seconds as well, so that's really quite quick. Um, looking at the armor then, your main armor is on the turret, to be fair. Um, you know, you've got sort of between 160, 190 mil on the, um, on the turret face there. So you can see the sides aren't very well armoured, uh, side turret isn't too bad but you know, do expect to get penned. Um, so yeah, and obviously the roof and the engine deck are soft as mush so you know, RT will have a field day on that. Uh, your engine and your fuel tank are both located at the back and centre of the tank. And then you can see the ammo storage here, you've got um, an ammo rack at the back of the turret. And then you've got either side of the front of the hull and then uh, a little bit on the left hand side of the tank. So looking at the equipment then, I run vert stabs, optics and vents because yeah, you can't run gun, gun ram on an auto loader. And perks, we've got born leader, rapid reload, sixth sense, steady aim, uh, snapshot, uh, run and gun, situational awareness, trap mechanic and camouflage expertise. So gone sort of with more of a line of uh, improving the gun handling as much as possible um, yeah just a multitude of perks really um, to yeah keep the keep the gun firing and firing well so we're gonna move on to the uh, replays then just to sort of show um, how this tank performs out in the field and our first replay we're on Kaunas uh, I believe we're top tier and we're platooned up with my buddy Kingpin who is playing an arty so we got some good support from him and uh, yeah I've decided to play on the right here um, you've got three light tanks in the game so we've got plenty of tanks to spot for us um, tried getting the first shot into the AMX there but we failed miserably um, do need to lead your shots somewhat um, yeah I've got a good mixture of ammo uh, you know I split half and half between the AP and the heat I only carry two HE rounds to be fair I mean it's good if you encounter RT I guess at the end of the game but you know you could drop the HE for um, you know two rounds of AP or heat but um, yeah I split the majority of the ammo in half um, I you know tend not to fire too much heat because 
with heat obviously it gets absorbed into space armor and attracts so it's good to have a good amount there and, you know you come up against your super heavies and things like that you know it will help you go through especially at sort of tier 10 um you know when you're sort of bottom tier matchmaking but uh I stick with the ap but obviously say so bear in mind that the lead time is a little bit on the slow side for the AP so yeah you have got to lead the shots with that um, which can be a little bit awkward at times when you're sort of firing at, at light tanks uh, especially obviously when you've got two shots in in your clip um, but yeah it's, it's just one of those downsides I guess to the tank which is just that shell velocity on the AP. Heat runs are not too bad um, you know pretty decent actually to be fair 1200 um, meters per second on your heat rounds is quite nice shell velocity so uh, don't recall having much problem with that um, mobility on the tank I don't think is too bad uh, you know it, it, it can move around it's not you know that's overly quick but it's not overly slow either so it is, yeah it's in the middle it's pretty okay to be fair. Um, get some shots into this type 59 here and I you know sort of guessing he's YOLO, yeah he's YOLO and for us so we're just sort of backing up here and I'm hoping that my team can kind of help me out uh, we managed to bounce a shot there which is quite nice uh, again managed to get two shots in we track him in place there and he gets taken out so you know that's a real nice lucky engagement there where we managed to bounce a shot and we get you know sort of four shots into that guy and take him out basically or near enough to take him out um, get a shot into that TNH and you see that interclip that's, that's one thing I do like about this tank is it's it's really snap you know it's just bam bang you know bam bang yeah you, the, the, the reload overall isn't too bad um, I think I've got it down sort of roughly to about 13 seconds I think um, obviously with food and you know sort of the reload perk and vents as well, yeah, that's another reason why I run vents is obviously it yeah, gets the reload down a little bit more and obviously improves the, uh, the accuracy a little bit as well because you know American tanks it can be a tiny bit derpy um, I mean I can't really think of any other equipment that you could run um, besides sort of uh, stabs or vents if you wanted to drop uh, any of them um, maybe traction system if you wanted to but again i don't think it really i don't think this tank really needs it because like i say the mobility isn't too bad it's it's okay it's yeah you know, if, if it was a bit more sluggish then yeah possibly i would drop vert stabs or you know i'd probably drop vents actually um for it but yeah the equipment for me i think is the right setup for this tank in my opinion like i say feel you know if you want to sort of play around and and you know change it to you to your own uh, sort of to what you think is best and go for it you know sort of trial and error it's always it's not a bad thing to be fair but um yeah so the interclip's quite nice let's say you, you saw that tnh back uh, sort of a couple of minutes ago yeah we, we knocked him right down to one shot and you know, we're just able to take him out and he's, he's you know not even aware uh, so yeah you can really catch some tanks off guard um one of the downsides i say to this is is you know this tank requires a long game I think um, and this, this game's been relatively quick and um, we haven't done too bad actually we've sort of we knocked up a fair bit of damage but if this game was any quicker um, you know you'd sort of be at the mercy of not really being able to do too much um, you know when I say it needs it needs a long game it needs a long game because you know, that, that reload you know to be able to put in a good amount of damage um, you know unlock what we have here it's not too bad damage but you know the game was just a bit on a, a tad on the quick side so but yeah not to worry in this one we didn't do too bad we um got just over 3.1k damage there with uh three kills 718 assist um so yeah you know, five minute game it's not bad really to be fair picked up the high caliber and the second class medal um so yeah not too shabby um so we move into the second replay now which we are on moravanka uh, again we're top tier so nice sort of bit of matchmaking here that we can uh, sort of make this tank work uh one thing to obviously say i mean the turret armor can bounce but when you sort of coming up against sort of the higher tiers that's where you're going to start to struggle um 
there's some you know tier nine some tier nine mediums i guess you'll probably be able to bounce but when you start sort of seeing the tank destroyers and and you know some of the sort of big um heavy tanks you know your conquerors and stuff like that you, you are going to struggle the cupola is easy to pen as well so i'd say if you come up against one of these just just aim for the cupola but say if you can overmatch the turret anyway um, chances are you're going to pen it and I'd say tier 10s so are going to have no problem sort of buttering up the, tar the turret so uh, yeah realistically you kind of want to play this as a bit of a support now I, I say that and we're kind of going against the grain here we're actually on our own with the light tank so um, but yeah we're not getting swamped here by too many red tanks and, and to be fair, the majority of them are sort of on the ridge or just underneath the ridge on our hill. So um, again, I'm sort of not overly, not overly fussed here. Majority of the team are over the other side and all of our team. So should be a nice brawl there. And, and we're just going to be here. We're just going to just looking at opportunities. Unfortunately, we didn't leave those shots well enough. Um, you know, we should have took our time a little bit with the aiming, which you do need to do with this tank. It doesn't require a little bit of time to aim in to make it work um, and obviously long range as well can be a little bit, uh, a little bit awkward got a shot into that light tank there but we only hit the track so we didn't track him in place the second shot missed so a um, bit frustrating but uh, you can see our light tank now is pushing on we've also got a medium tank behind us so I'm sort of thinking do you know what we should probably try and push this side Again, we messed up there. We could have picked up a kill if we just aimed our shot a little bit better. Um, but because we didn't, we you know, sort of scuffed that shot and we missed out on the opportunity of a kill there. Tried getting a shot into that uh, tank destroyer, but we again bounced the first shot and managed to get the second shot in. Loaded the heat shells now just because uh, I want to make sure I can pen that uh, tank straw when it pops back up and it's the Cheeto so you know um, unfortunately yeah oh, Christ what the hell is going on my aiming uh, terrible aiming there which is why we didn't kill that tank um, yeah, it probably could have ended up with a lot more damage in this game had we just aimed our shots properly and not played like a bot but there we go yeah I, I have those sort of days and it looks like I'm not one of those days today so uh, yeah, bear with us on that. We get some shots into this lioness here. Who's sort of kind of stuck out in the open. It's just gone undetected, but he's being lit back up. And um, there we go. You see the heat shells there. What I was talking about, shell velocity is actually quite nice in the heat. So I think if you do get the opportunity to fire your heat shells at tanks, sort of, you know, if tanks are facing you head on uh, from you know at a distance like that, then yeah, probably best to go for the heat shells. Um, not to say I wouldn't advise on a full heat loadout just because I think you know there are times where you're going to be shooting inside of tanks and heat is going to get absorbed into the tracks or spaced armour so it's always good to carry um, a bit of each just you know different scenarios I think um, if it was APCR yeah I'd probably go full APCR because you know, as we always know I, I'm you know, my favourite uh, shell types or default sh favourite shell type for me is APCR and you've always got some really nice shell velocity on APCR. But uh, yeah, such as the case, so we've just got the AP and the heat. Um, and we've got some nice shots into some tanks here. We see this uh, IKV that's backing up. We get a nice shot into uh, the side of him, catches our uh, hull, managing to take him out. Picking up our third kill, we've only um, got 2.8k damage here, no assist um, at all. Um, Light tanks have sort of done a relatively good job, so not really needed to sort of play the spotter. Um, we get two shots into the Talon A. You can see where the heat, I think, got absorbed on the second shot and just tracks him in place. But not to worry because we're picking up some nice track assist there from uh, that getting sort of tracked in place. Um, we should probably sort of go back to the AP here, but um, the shots are managing to go in, we're sort of keeping them above the track so it's not too much of a problem now we're in a bit of a sticky situation because we've gone to push the side not realizing that there is a light tank still in play managed to get a shot to that huntsman but i'm backing up here because i'm sort of like i kind of just want to get out and there you can see the turret sort of 
play into you know good effect there and bounce in the shell. Now we need to get rid of this light tank. This light tank's just been a complete pain and he's keeping us lit. It's just yoloing around um, and it's quite annoying to be fair. Um, he's now decided to engage our light tank, so at this point I've decided um, to. Well, I was going to try and help him out, but at this point I've decided, you know what, I'm just going to take out the tiger that's a one hit. Our light tank has dealt with uh, the enemy light tank, with, you know, it's not a problem. So, uh, yeah, we don't have to concern ourselves with that. We're weaving side to side just to avoid the eye shell, which we managed to do. Um, we, you know, light tank spotted our party. Um, now we're sort of trying to focus a shot on the side of Bellathron, but we probably should have just carried on there. We probably could have got these, you know, couple of shots into the uh, artillery there, but yeah. Uh, we thought we could potentially get the kill on the Bellathron there, but yeah, it was just a bit too out of reach. Snaps a shot in there, which was nice, but unfortunately we don't manage to get the second shot in to pick up the kill. But um, yeah, we come out of, you know, half decent result there. Um, come second on the board with just over 4.4k damage and 4 kills, 192 track assists there. Um, so again, not too much of a shabby result. We pick up the high caliber and the first class medal. Um, but credit to the uh, light tank player there who, you know, done a good job spotting him and managed to get the tanks lit up. So the third and final replay, we are on Momenhan and we are mid-tier. There's a couple of tier nines in this uh, lobby. So um, hopefully you'll be able to see how this tank sort of fares against uh, tier nines and whatnot. Um, and we're on the good spawn. Uh, this, this for me is the better spawn um, on this sort of current battle layout. Um, just because uh, for me this is where you can sort of go and you can uh, you know you can light stuff up on the other side of the ridge you can get some shots in as well this for me this is the more aggressive spawn uh which is what i prefer i think you know the other side very campy very defensive play um and kind of yeah you have to kind of play the patient game <coughs> which to be fair isn't that fun so we're coming up um onto the ridge now we see this vanguard who we assume is just gonna sort of do vanguard things which is just driving around like a lunatic um just being a complete nuisance to be fair uh so we're gonna poke up we're gonna try and see if we can potentially get some shots in but um doesn't seem to block and i'm just backing off here because i don't want to take a shot from anything on the other side and you can see I just snap a shot there on that vanguard which isn't anywhere near or very well aimed but it's just a case of trying to get the shot in whilst also avoiding taking the hit. Uh, we do manage to get the second shot in there, uh, we've got a Lynx light tank that gets out of that light tank engagement pretty quick. Uh, we have ducked back down sort of just behind the ridge just while we're on reload. Um, again we are sort of not going really to keep ourselves exposed if we don't need to. Unfortunately, the first shot there misses the bat trap because we didn't lead the shot. Again, lead the shot. I have been saying lead the shots, but yeah, not exactly being um, practicing what I can preach. So, uh, yeah, stupid thing. But we get a nice shot in there. We pick up our first kill on that charioteer. Tried getting a shot into sharpshoot there, but unfortunately, we were just aiming a bit too high and just caught his turret, which causes that shell to bounce. Um, We've uh, only picked up 800 damage here and, and one kill, um, but we, yeah, we, the team as a whole has done quite a good job actually because we, yeah, we've already knocked out five tanks, so um, count that six. So yeah, it, it's, it looks like we're going to sort of stomp this, uh, stomp the enemy team here. So I think we're sort of pushing in, trying to get some, trying to get a good position to get some shots off. So I want to put some more damage in, get some shots into that sharpshooter there. Um, we're being targeted, which I assume is that uh, Stritzvan that's uh, Stritzvan TD that's playing the other side. The sharpshooter seems to be um, completely uh, occupied with tanks in front of him. We, we got one shot in there, tried getting the second shot in, but unfortunately he just pulled forward, which took too long to get there. We just took a light year to take that second shot. Um, 
but he gets taken out. We now see this Tiger 2 and we're just trying to back up there. Luckily, we get a bounce and we pick up some nice assistance there. Someone sets him on fire and, we, you know, just see that assistance counter just ticking, on, ticking away so quickly. Um, which gives us uh, a thousand assists now. Um, now we see the Strix Farn who's side on to us. Um, even at a slant like that, you're going to get shots into a Strix. So, yeah, it needs to be face on. Even the tier 9, though, face on. Chance are if you get the polar, you're going to hit it. It's not like Strix, you know, from 3B where yeah, it's got that. Uh, it's got that anti, yeah, that, got that anti heat guard on the front, you know, you can actually bounce shots, you know, strips on tier 9 is still weak as hell. See the vanguard again, we're going to try and see if we can get a shot in, unfortunately it just turns up at the moment and that's just a poorly aimed shot. Um, we really are bad at aiming. Uh, so yeah, we missed the vanguard there, we're going to try and see if we were going to get some shots into that tiger shot, but we're on reload. Now I'm paying my attention to the strits, I want to sort of see if I can potentially get a shot in, but the AAT manages to get there first and just completely wipes them out. Um, we can see this uh, Japanese tank destroyer on our left there, we're just being cautious. Uh, but we snap the shot into the vanguard, we finally take that guy out uh, after you know, countless amount of times actually missing our shots. We managed to get the most important one in, which is taking him out. Now we're on reload, we've got three tanks left in the game. There's the Tiger Shark to the right of us, and then there's the Japanese TD to the left. Tried getting a shot in there again, didn't lead it. Yeah. And we took an unnecessary hit there, that's really annoying, we actually took a really unnecessary hit from the Japanese TD, just because we were trying to take out that uh, Tiger Shark. And you see we've gone straight for the heat edge because this guy is pretty much straight onto us, and we're not going to pen the Tank Destroyer front on with AP. He has now gone unlit, he's, he's gone unspotted, and you know, he's out spotting us, so... We need to be careful here. We don't want to pay. We yeah, don't want to poke out and take another unnecessary shot. We shouldn't have taken the first shot. To be fair, that was you know, it's just really stupid. Should have just let the tiger shot go. He would have got mopped up by someone else, but not just being greedy and wanted the kill. Um, but yeah, we now we're just sort of waiting for our team to just kind of like. I don't want to poke because I know the Japanese TD is probably going to be looking this way, and at this point I've sort of thought that actually you know what, I kind of want to extend the distance between myself and the Japanese CD but he's still out of spotting me um, <clears throat> and yeah I'm, I'm yeah <laughs> managed to bounce a shot there which was good uh, now gonna aim for the side of his superstructure and we managed to get one shell in but unfortunately he was just angled enough to bounce the second and um, and yeah, it's sort of this way, I'm, I'm just sort of weaving backwards and forwards. It's a little bit of lag there, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but yeah, this I'm just waiting for him to get distracted, so then I can just sort of poke and get a shot. Uh, we, we, we do get a shot and we bounce. Unfortunately, we poke up and we take a big shot there, which is really annoying because now we are actually on a one shot and, and, and we can't really afford to poke anymore. And, to, to get any shots off so at this point I, I really am just on you know sort of the mercy of my team to just sort of try and distract him again so I can actually put some shots in um, I'd love to get a bit more damage out but I'm yeah just kind of wary this time but then this uh, the, the Samoa's just decided to sort of poke up right in front of him so it's kind of blocking the tank destroyer from getting shots off we do poke another shot into the side of him there which is good um, it just sort of tilted his you know um, yeah, <laughs> did tilt the tank sort of to the side enough for me to get a shot in, but unfortunately, uh, sort of me poking out a little bit too far, uh, he then manages to get a shot into me and takes me out. But yeah, I wasn't too worried. Yeah, he was the last tank left. I just want to get some damage in, and um, yeah, we did do. We got just over 4k damage there, with just over 1k assist. Picked up four kills, only the first class, not four kills, sorry, three kills. Uh, picked up the first class medal there, and um, yeah. So, concluding thoughts then on the TL 1 LPC. Um, yeah, I, I actually quite like it. I mean, I first, you know, I got this tank when it was a, uh, when the Stone Cold came out, which is the WWE skin variant of this tank. Um, 
and yeah, I I, I quite enjoy it. It's it's, it's a nice auto loader. It's got you know, it's got fairly it's got okay DPM on it. To be fair, I just I I love the interclip as well. It's just again sort of snap those two shots in in quick succession and sort of get back on a you know relatively okay reload. Um, so yeah, I think in that sense, it, yeah, it's it's quite a nice auto loader. Um, is it worth sort of the you know, eight pound fifty or whatever it is you pay for it for tank of the month? Yeah, I would say so. I, I definitely think it's one of the better ones out there. Um, so yeah, I I would I would definitely I'd definitely purchase it if it was me. Um, what do I rank this this tank out of ten? I would actually give it an eight. I think it's worthy an eight. It's uh, yeah, like I say, it, it it has got quite a bit going for it. I think it's it's, it's a good tank personally. So anyway, guys, that is it for the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the you know the replays and the overview of the tank. Um, if you got it, let me know what you think of it. And uh, yeah, let's say if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel as it really does help it out. And uh, as always, guys, I will catch you next time.